Now, oh my gosh. Last time was insane. Okay, Arthur Morgan is dead. If you haven't watched the last one, I'm sorry. I spoiled it, but he is dead because we are now John Marston in Red Dead Redemption 2. We have 23 more percent of the story to go, and we're only, and Arthur Morgan is already dead. So, the last quarter of the story is basically going to be with John Marston, guys. So, um, yeah, um, we're getting ready to get into Red Dead Redemption 1 here. We're going to see how John Marston gets to working with the feds, and we're going to see everything, it sounds like. But right now, we are working on a farm, and yeah, if you haven't watched the last episode, go watch that, because it is pretty confusing. Dang. Looks like we have, like, it looks like we almost have Arthur's satchel. Uh, we just have some random stuff. We don't have a gun. Eh, I don't know if we have a gun. But let's look at the map here. We are all the way out here. Yeah, and we are not wanted in Blackwater anymore. For some reason. I guess since it's been a few years, I guess. We still have these random quests. Don't know how they work with John being dead, but... Or not John, uh, Arthur being dead, but... We'll do it, but... Yeah, let's go do this one, I guess. So, who's this one did you speak with? Tom Dickens. So, this is the guy that runs this ranch. So, let's go speak with him. Oh, we can't ride these things. Oh yeah, Spaghetti's. and we said our name this is, is Milton. This the new ranch hand I told you about. Well, I heard you had some trouble with your welcome, but you kept your nerve and protected my property. No, it was nothing, sir. Mm -hmm. I'm David Geddes. Pleased to meet you. John, Jim, <laughs> Milton. Thank you for the opportunity, sir. You and Mr. Dickens. Well, you work hard. You be honest, you'll get your keep. I promise you that. Boy has a family. Well, lucky man. Then you better work extra hard. Good day, Howdy, sir. gentlemen. Sir. You hear that, John, Jim? Extra hard. Hey, hey, get over here. Mr. Dickens? Go find old Jim Milton here something to do. Make sure he works extra hard. Sure, Mr. Dickens. All right, well, I guess we're doing work. Come on this way. I, I was on my chores anyhow. Say. Is that your family getting in the wagon up there? Ah, oh, believe it is. Mind if we go welcome them? Not at all. Hey, is it true what they said about you when you arrived? It, that you ran off those hired guns? Look, can we, uh, not discuss this in front of my wife? Oh, uh, no, sure. Yeah, of course, mister. I don't want to worry her. Oh, yeah. I hear that. I don't know these. Mrs. Milton. Milton! Jim Milton. How fine you seem. This kind man just collected us. Thank you, sir. I think we can be okay here. It's ranching work. This place is kinda. It's fine. 
From what I hear, you began your career in ranching by throwing your weight around. Real wise, Jim. What was I supposed to do? The place was getting robbed. So you show everyone who's boss? Real fine. I didn't have much of a choice. I gotta go. Jack, when you're done in here, come on out and lend a hand. Yeah, I mean, I don't know how smart that was, was but milk the cows. Come on. we're trying to start a new identity. I don't, you? I think he might just change his name. I mean, I know he does. Sure. <laughs> Why not? Oh, uh, I don't know. I, I thought you was, uh, I'm a ranch hand. A new one at that. When you got here, them hired guns? I was just getting my wagon back. That's all. Weren't nothing. Oh, it weren't nothing. It was about time someone stood up to them fellers. No. Where are you from, anyway, partner? Around, you know. Up north, mostly. Been in these parts before, but that was years ago. Oh, <laughs> it's changed. The rich fellas are coming in and buying everything. The ranches. Cows are huge. But, well, it ain't as wild as it once were, at least. There is that. I mean, cows See, are that big. If it ain't too personal a question. I'm far and Are you a gunslinger, mister? Oh, good lord, no. Nothing like that. Now, just a ranch hand, then. Just a ranch hand. Failed at a bunch of things, like most men. <laughs> well, I feel a whole heap better having a ranch hand like you around. That is for sure. <laughs> Let's see how you feel once you see me work. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. Here's the cows. Yeah, we used to have a bunch of women here did most of the milking. Most of them drifted off. Okay. You fine with milking? You know, I ain't really done much of it. Could never, never really get the hang of it. You serious, mister? Sure. It's Jim. Jim Milton. Hey, just sit down. I'll show you how. Approach her calm now. She don't take too kindly to surprise I've never done it. I've always kind of wanted to. Just, just... Just to, you know, say I have, but never really done it. Okay. Doesn't seem that hard. Just don't oh, grab the wrong hey, thing. <laughs> I don't think it fills up that fast either. But it's not like 2% milk, I can tell you that. Not the fr not fresh, fresh. Got that cream layer on hey, top huh? of it. Is that your boy? Sure. Hey, that's a lot. Well, hey, Lancelot. Hey. We're gonna make a dairy maid of your paw yet. <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day. Watch you learn, partner. We all gotta earn our keep. That's enough, Jim. Come on. How about you and the boy uh, help me clean out the stables? Sure. Come on, son. You now, Lancelot. Twelve, sir. Ain't that grand? It's such a fine name. I like it. I got, I got imaginative parents, sir. <laughs> I can tell. Now it ain't pleasant work, but it's got to be done. Mr. Dickens said. I know what he said. We'll do it, won't we, boy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, you get them stalls cleaned out, and I'll see you later. Bye. Okay. Jack, let's just try and take some pride in this work, hard as it may be. I've Boy, done this as Arthur. Bring that wheelbarrow over here and keep it close to me. Yes, sir. You're a long way from Angelo Bronte's mansion now. Sorry, sir. Nothing. <laughs> you almost got me. Sorry, I need to turn my phone ringer off. There we go. This is a dog's work. Ew.
All right. John Marston, the terror of the turds. Reckon even your mother would say we're almost done here. You finish things up, I'll go check on her. Okay. Plans a lot. All right, let's just run. Because, you know, I ain't got time to not run. I wonder if we can still stay, uh, keep all our stats, or this is, like, a completely new. Like, if our dead eyes, like, still. Hey. Hey. Where's Jack? Shoveling shit in pursuit of the better life you want. Same as I've been. Won't do him no harm. I know. Guess maybe we can last here. Survive. Do a little better than survive for once. I'm tired of fleeing, John. So, what do you know? Me too. You know, John loves his wife. I'll put some coffee on. It's cold. Three dollars, hey. We got fourteen ducks. All right, let's see what we got now. We got David Gates, Tom Dickens. Let's go to the David Gates one first. Yeah, we only have fourteen bucks. Can't really do nothing. Morality Raider is looks like. You know, John's a little bit better than Arthur. I mean, John. John's a better guy than Arthur. John's a family man. I said, Abe, yes, sir. where are the other hands? Uh, I thought I said I don't rightly know, Mr. Getty, sir. Well, what good is that to me? We got three horses lost, possibly more, a mare about to fall, sir, and no hands to help with any of it. I'm supposed to be heading into town. This place is chaos. Hey, Pa! Can I get some help? Pa! Milton, Milton, you good with horses? I'm okay. I'll do whatever needs doing, sir. Good man. Can you help my boy, my youngest, Duncan? He will insist on riding Jeremiah, a horse that is far too strong for him. And my wife will need help with this mare. Abe? Sir? You and Dickens better not make any more mistakes like you did today, you hear? No, sir. Thank you. Both of you. We gotta go find some horses. Come on, he's over here. I'm good. You get off. Go find them horses. No, no, no. I'll show you. Since you showed up, runaway horse has been to some of our problems. And I am thankful for that. I ain't done too much. I ain't much of a rancher. Oh, heck. Hey, maybe them Laramie boys weren't so tough after all, hmm? Maybe I could have handled them. Of course you could. They're just loud mouths. <laughs> so, uh, is that what the boss is doing in town? Some business with them boys or something? Well, when Mr. Geddes goes into town, well, it ain't exactly for, uh, Oh, business. God, what is it for? Oh. Uh, okay, then. All right. He'll be just at the end there. Well, I better get two. Thanks, kid. You Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Well, <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. That's All right. Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. Relax. You done? 
Oh, someone. Like it. I ain't sure he lets any of us behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. We're fine, ain't we? Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. Be in the corral, Ben. All right, let's go, boy. Show me this. Let's get a Ooh, Let's go. Get this horse tired. Everything you got, come on. Okay, that was fun, wasn't it? You can behave now, can't you? Ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. <laughs> Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse? You ride around here? I had a oh. pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Pony. Yeah? You think my son could borrow one? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'll get it hitched by your cabin. Chisel. Calm down. Right. Thank you, son. Can I ask, are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. We're gonna have a shootout soon? There. Yeah, but... but I swear uh, you're... I swear. Just worry about the horse. Yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. I see. Ah! <laughs> I'm sorry, that was funny. <laughs> Just make it cow. You, Mr. Milton? I thought you were going to help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? Uh, I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll <laughs> listen to me better than my Thank husband. Thank you, Mr. Milton. Stop. You freaking cow. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down.
So, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? Not too much. Oh my God, where does my husband find men like you? Still, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Oh, gosh. Got him. Okay, now hold on. And oh, I lost it. Get a hold of it again. Find them. Grip them. Didn't come. It's coming out one way or another. Grab them again. Almost. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. I wonder if John actually had like a proper marial marriage or like how was it? Hey John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? He's been kind of withdrawn. Quiet, you know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? Get on him. We're taking a Duncan. Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding? Aside from home. I don't know. But maybe that stream... Good idea. Now you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yeah. My bad. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... See, you can do it. How about you speed up a mic? Okay. No, that's a good speed.
Alright, yeah, so. Um, let's see, so. Okay. Good. Amazing what the right horse and a little confidence can do. I, uh, was playing some love, but more Legend of Zelda. It's a pretty fun game. How do I look? Better than before. Keep at it. Even faster, come on. Faster? Yep. Now let's slow it down. Whoa, boy. I mean, I've been on a pony before, okay. pony rides, yeah. Let's go across to the stream. Yes, sir. for a little race I guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ranch okay on my go go uh. I'm gonna let the boy win but still I gotta get in front of him a little bit come back here you'll have to catch me I know you're so far out, jeez. Last straight. Come on. Hey I beat you. I beat you. I <laughs> Well beat... ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, you're riding. It's gotten so much better. Thanks. I hey, let the kid have some pride. You're riding. You too. You need it. Got to make sure his confidence is up. Can't like can't let the kid's confidence drop. You know. Another day, another dollar. If she always gets up first, why doesn't he just sit I'm and sleep on the other side? Myself, Jack. Huh? So you stay out of trouble. Where are you working? I told you. Cleaning at the doctor's office. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Give the place a tidy. Better not have an affair with the doctor. <laughs> I'll see you later. We got another three dollars. Another day and our three dollars. Another day and our three dollars. Um, yeah, sure. Let's do Tom Dickens quest. You know, I like to get a since these quests aren't necessarily I like them because I like the simple life. I think it's part of the game and it's fun, but it's not as exciting for you guys. I know, so that's why I'm gonna try to get them all done in like one video ish all right yeah it keeps my stamina okay so it keeps everything that's good hey 
Milton, can you give me a hand with this fence? Sure. Know much about fence building? Not really. <laughs> can't build a fence, can't milk a cow, ain't used to shoveling shits, but took on a gang of robbers single-handed. Guess we all got our peculiarities, Mr. Dickens. What was you doing before you came here? I told you. Wife got cheated out of inheritance. We was in a legal dispute. It was a bad time. That sounds awful, but I guess I don't believe a word of it. I was raised to take a man at his word, and also to believe this is a free country. It's so free that I can't tell you what to think. So I guess it don't much matter what you believe. But I will work hard, and I learn fast. Okay. Give me a hand with this fence. So I am. Yep. I don't know much, but you There's show me what to do, and I'll do. do it. Pound it in there. We don't want it coming down. Good. Now grab a rail, line it up with a notch, and place it in. Your boy could do this quicker. Now lift up the other side. They got to line up, see? Now the next rail. Yeah, this ain't very hard. Good. Okay. You're doing all right. That looks okay. Go to the next post and pound that in. All right. Let's get this post up. The basics. I see the fence like this other matters point. to attend to, but there's more than a day's work here for you. All right. So long. I'll be counting sections when you're done. Okay. Yeah, it's not going to make me do all of it. The game knows it's boring work. How do you know where like to put the posts at? Put that fence down and get over here, boy. Come on, son. Milton, get over here. Coming. Come on, give us a hand. Know much about bulls, Milton? Uh, just the basics. Don't make them mad. Angus Geddes, this is Jim Milton. Mr. Milton? Angus is your boss's son. Nice to meet you. Well, let's try and move this great hunk of Chuck. Alright, what do I do? Move! Don't make him mad. I'll get him. No. 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 Get over here. Now where are you going? Uh, uh, I know, I should have just went through the hole in the fence. You're gonna wind down, <laughs> but I'll try. There, 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 there. Whoa, there. Whoa, there. Easy, easy. It ain't so bad. Nice and easy now, boy. All better? Okay. 
Now come on, you hunk and chuck. Don't get no ideas. Got him, Mr. Dickens. Oh, good. How you doing, son? A bit sore, but I'll be okay. Thank you, Mr. Milton. My pleasure. And you, mister? Fine. He just got my head. <laughs> Good. There he is. See you later, Jim Milton. We'll make a rancher of you yet. All right, another three dollars. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you want to watch your mouth, boy. You will be the first one we kill. Leave him alone. <laughs> oh, careful, boys. Careful. Yeah. Look at this tough guy. Get out of here. How oh, fancy pants get. He's paying you to be tough for him, huh? <laughs> no, he's paying me to keep the place clean. Oh. He said he had some problems with vermin. Listen to this. Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, go get him now. Come on, get him. Oh, kick his head in, Bob. Get that feller. This guy doesn't know how to bite. It's like that, huh? Oh, get his pins on women. Saves on hands. Oh, boy. When was the last time you had a bath? Don't mess with John Marston. Get off that man! Get off him. He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in the brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life. Married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. You stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. She is pissed. I beat the shit out of that guy. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Anyways, guys, that's going to be the end of part 57. If you guys are enjoying this twist turn of events in this new John Marston part of the story, go down, please leave a like and subscribe. And if you're enjoying the series and want to watch the rest of it with Arthur Morgan, the old part of it, go down in the description below. There's a playlist full of every single episode. And if you... If you guys enjoy my content, go down in the description below, follow my social media, and I'll see you guys next in the next video vlog stream. Peace!